So I just previously put out a video just moments ago about the radio that this customer wanted, or not radio, but the backup camera this customer wanted installed, tied into the radio. But this truck in this setup is not applicable. The main reason why this customer is here is because the check engine light popped on and then went away. It was a PO12 P012B and P012D. There are, there's a TSB out on this and basically what that states is, let me flip this around. Come on, focus. Basically what that states is, using the Ford Integrated Diagnostic System Service Tool Check All Continuous Memory is DTC P012B and P012D stored in PCM memory. Yes it is. Replace the turbocharger intake pressure and temperature TCIPT sensor and the connector. They were a faulty system in these earlier Model F-150s that would throw this code and it would be this wiring assembly here and then the sensor assembly and they update it to a newer style one. You get 0.7 to do it. It's not that bad to do this job. But typically I see this issue on the aftermarket intakes on these earlier Model F-150s. Some of the intakes are really thick right here. And the tube that goes into the air box and what ends up happening is this assembly sitting up top will end up hitting the hood over time and it will start pinching and wearing these wires and stuff like that. It's not a very good location for this sensor and connector assembly in general. Some of the aftermarket ones that have a bellow here and they have a bellow here but then there's a tube that's adjustable. You can actually turn the tube down out of the way put some XG12 in here or even rewire it and put a new sensor and stuff in it and keep it out of the way and it'll stop this from happening but these are biased sensors when they go bad they typically happen over and over and over again and you end up having to splice in the new connector and, and actually replace to the updated sensor so I'm gonna see if we have that in stock right now if not this video will end and at least you know what the P012B is and the P012D is and then I'll just have to figure out uh, if the customer is going to stay long enough for me to do it or if they want to head back to California and get it done there Here what I'm using is a Dremel heat gun a set of wire strippers and a E6 Torx This is the sensor CV2Z9F479 and then BU2Z14S411 That's the same numbers I showed you earlier you see here it's a pigtail assembly it's got some shrink wrap, it's got the special crimp, there's a sensor. Now what I'm going to actually do is uh, try to set my phone up, but it doesn't want to stay. So I'll uh, show you the location where it's at and pulling it apart. And then at the end I'll show you how I'm stripping the wires back. I do one of them, but then I finish the job. Codes never came back, everything cleared, it was as expected. The wires for the connector that are on the assembly are really small compared to the new updated ones. They're like twice the size. I just go about an inch and a half back and clip it. Strip one wire back, then strip the other wire back. So basically you just go through and strip a wire, put it in, strip a wire, put it in. Then you make sure you put heat shrink before you crimp it. And then you just do each wire as you go along the line. And here it is, it's uh, I'm just kind of shrinking the heat wrap around it to get it to seal. And then I just go through and do each wire after this individually. One wire at a time. You can find this Dremel heat gun soldering iron on Amazon for like 27 bucks and I've had it for about six months now and I absolutely love it. Here we are, it's all together. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap everything up with tape, get it all set back. There's the old connector. You see the gray, yellow, green, yellow on the end. And this is you normally just hand tight. They're not even that tight, you don't need a tool. Just put the socket over it, spin it out. 
clean out the hole where the sensor goes. A little bit of debris in there, some dirt. Put the new sensor in. Make sure everything's cleaned out. I get I have these special Q-tips that I use. See the debris in there? I'm gonna clean that out with a special thick white Q-tip. Not very much came off of it, but it's there, a little oily. New sensor in, just hand tight, put the stud in. Plug everything back in, electrical tape it, done. Problem fixed. Doesn't move, doesn't draw side to side, we're good. Just gonna test it out real quick before I throw some electrical tape around it. When I put the connection back on and electrical tape it, I don't electrical tape it back onto that post. I actually take it down and let it hang off the side of the tube so it stays away from the hood. That's just temporary there for right now. And then you see that gray tube right there? that goes along the induction tube, I tape it down next to that. Problem fixed.